everyone, welcome to Ace Psychology. I am Miss M and today we're going to do a quick video on Yamamoto, but we're only going to talk about the sample and the variables. Okay, so um, chimpanzee, altruistic, helping behavior, um, that's what we're talking about today. And we have five uh, chimpanzees. They're actually in groups of two, so it may seem like there's six chimpanzees, but um, we only are experimenting on the chimpanzee that is in the the side of you know the glass cages that has the actual tools. So we're measuring that chimp. We're not measuring whether or not the chimp can get the juice in the other side. So in saying that, um, we have pairs of mother baby chimps, Cleo and Chloe, Ai and Ayumu, and Pan and Paul. Now in the first group, Chloe, which is the mother, she did not participate as the um, experimenter chimp. So in any of the trials, in for Pon and Pal and the other, the other chimps, they, they got both sides, but for some reason, Chloe just didn't go on the experimental side. So we have five chimpanzees. They're in baby mother pairs. And what's important to know about this is that, um, first of all, it's animal research ethics. Okay. I know we had one on, um, you know, pepper bird parrot learning. But for this one, we have caged animals. Um, they are coming from a research institute at Kyoto University in Japan. So this research institute is is basically speaking for them and giving them the um, permission to use the primates in their research. Um, now, the chimpanzees have had previous um, experimental research. So they've been in experiments before. Um, none like this, but, um, this was something that tool use was something that they were used to. Okay. So that's the sample. Now, <clears throat> um, what is our independent variable and dependent variable? Well, our independent variable is can see or cannot see. Um, in the book, it looks like it's can see, cannot see, and then can see again. There's actually only two sides. It's the can see and the cannot see. In the can see condition, um, we have chimps and they're each in their individual clear box cages. In the can see condition, the wall in between these chimpanzees is clear. Okay, there's a hole that they can see through, but still the wall is completely clear. So they can see everything that's going on on both sides. Okay, um, now remember the task is this juice box that they have to get on the other side. So um, we're looking to see if, if the chimp can see what the task is, will they give them the correct tool? Remember, they could only give them either the stick or the straw. Those were the two um, basic tasks that required stick or straw. So for instance, if the juice box was in a box, like maybe eye height, but um, they couldn't reach in, it was just holes. So they needed the straw to stick in to drink the juice. Um, or if they needed the stick, then the juice was just like arms reach away, we couldn't barely reach it we needed a stick to go in there and kind of pull it back okay so um we're basically measuring whether or not they offered the correct tool so that's our dependent variable is the offering of the tool and whichever tool that they offered first counted as correct or incorrect okay so again um we are in a can see or a cannot see condition okay the cannot see condition instead of being able to see through the glass around this hole um, it's opaque. It's it's blocked off. You can't see it. So the only way a chimp could see technically is if they peek through the hole, which one chimp did. Go to my Yamamoto video if you don't know that yet and you need some details on it. Okay. Um, now we have the can see condition and then the cannot see condition. And basically we just did a can see condition again, just to make sure that there were no flukes in the experiment because um, at the end of the day, our chimpanzees basically got the the answer's right. They gave the, the right tool for the right job um, when they could see. Okay, so we have five chimpanzees. That's our sample. Um, Koyoto University in Japan. And um, our independent variable is can see or cannot see. And we are basically just measuring whether or not they gave the correct tool for the job during that specific one, whether it, the straw was needed or whether the stick was needed. All right, so I hope this helped you out a little bit understanding Yamamoto. Um, if you want a little bit more in-depth look in Yamamoto, go watch my video. Um, I have the entire study explained for you. If you just need help overall or you have any questions, just send me an email at apsychology9990 gmail.com. I also have a Google Classroom 
that is completely packed full of resources for you from vocab to strengths and weaknesses of the vocab. Um, it has all the studies, PowerPoints, blank study guides, filled in teacher study guides. Um, there's everything there for you to pass your exam, to help you out, to feel more calm. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.